Today I'm going to be showing you two techniques how to make these floral wax seals and I'm also going to show you this technique which is new to me and was kind of an experiment that I did just now and I kind of love how it turned out. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these. What you're going to need is some sealing wax, the flowers from your box, and you can use any color sealing wax for these ones. I use this Krylon gold leafing pen. I'm going to link it because I've been using it all the time lately your stamp and your glue gun. Okay, so the first step is I'm gonna pour the wax. I'm gonna do about one squeeze, and then I'm going to quickly grab a flower, place it in, and use a blank stamp over the top of it. I wanna work quickly because the wax, as soon as it starts to cool, um, you're not gonna get a good ring around the edge, so this is an example of that. It cooled too much before I put the stamp in, so I couldn't really finish it or get a nice lip on the edge. Um, so you wanna do that, and you can do flowers with any color. So I'm using vellum. You could use it with the cream from your box or some of the darker colors. The peach would be really pretty. Um, you could use it with white or colors you have from previous boxes. There's really a lot of options. But the order that you wanna go in, let's see if this one's done. You'll know it's done if it comes off your silicone mat and you can kind of feel it. And if it's feeling pretty warm, like this one, it does feel pretty warm. I'm gonna see if it'll pop off. Yep. So it came off. If it has more resistance than that, then that means that you need to let it cool longer and maybe keep your little stamp on a little ice pack to keep it nice and cool if you're making several at a time. So let's make one more. So this order is you want wax first, then you want your uh, flower add-on, and then you're gonna press it. And so these flowers were ones that I pressed. And so if you have any flowers still, I know it's about to get really cold where you're not gonna have any. If you still have some, you can press them yourself and use them in your wax seals. You're just gonna wanna look for flowers like these that are really small or little leaves like these that are also really small. So normally the order to do your seals is like we just talked about. What we wanna do is do the sealing wax first, then our pressed flower or leaf, and then the stamp last. And we're just gonna try this technique right now to see if we can do the flowers on the bottom and see how well they'll actually show through with the vellum wax. So I'm still, I've kind of pushed these little flowers together because I don't want them to start moving there. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more than one squeeze and I'm using a designed stamp from the fall box this time and I'm going to press down pretty hard and we're going to see because it's vellum if it'll show through. Okay so I'm going to pull it off now and so you can see they're more faint. They're not as um obvious as these ones. I thought maybe they would show up a little better, but they don't, but they're still kind of cute. So my next idea here is I have this really cool pen. It's called a Krylon gold leafing pen, and I wanted to put it in your fall box, but it's just not really affordable. So I'm going to link it and you guys can get it if you decide you want to get it for you. Um, but I've been loving it for my wax seals. And so then you can just go over the top like this and just color over the design so it looks like this and then once that's dry maybe I would color around the rim too but so let's put it over an envelope so we can kind of see the effect so that's kind of how it would look. That's how the flowers turn out if you put them underneath the wax. And of course, if this is a solid color, you won't see the flowers at all. This is kind of just getting a remnant of those flowers, which is kind of fun. Um, and of course, these ones, if you did the flower on the top of the wax for any color of wax, you're gonna have really beautiful standout floral wax seal. So those are just a few tips how to make them a few different techniques and ideas.